Hola Tankers! World of Tanks officially becomes a teenager this April. And what better way to celebrate a birthday than with a pizza party and some tank news. I'm Commander AF and this is Watt Monthly. April 12th marks the EU and NA server's 13th birthday. To celebrate the occasion, World of Tanks has put together special missions and discounts and premium tank favorites like the Progetto 46 and Type 59, a custom challenge awarding up to 13 months of Watt Premium account to the players at the top of the leaderboard, and the gift of mystery drops on our official live stream. And for our friends in APAC, April 26th through 29th, celebrate 12 years of servers up, with exclusive offers and cool rewards like boosters, one day of Watt Premium account, and the composite armor 2D style upon completing special birthday missions. Your favorite CCs will be getting in on the birthday fun with another epic and exciting round of EBR racing. Tune in on April 13th to claim mystery drops and cheer on your favorite Twitch streamer. And don't miss out on claiming your Twitch drop goodie bag, which is jam packed with birthday tokens. April 12th through April 29th, the Want a Party Token Store will feature rare 2D and 3D styles like the General America 2D style for the T26E4 Super Pershing and the Hellhound 3D style for the T57 Heavy Tank and some other goodies. So be sure to watch your favorite streams, collect birthday tokens, and exchange them before the party ends. Update 1.24.1 kicks off in early April, and it's got some things in it you've never seen before. First up, Tour of Duty gets a refresh. This time around, platoon with your clanmates for the chance to unlock the Caro de Combattimento 45T and its exclusive 3D style. To participate with your platoon, open territories and complete three daily missions to earn Tour of Duty points or progress by winning battles in various modes like Stronghold and Onslaught while in a super platoon. A new feature has been added to the game that finally answers that age-old question, how the heck did my tank just get destroyed? Last Moment, which recreates the shot that destroyed your tank, allowing you to analyze the enemy tank's position, the ammunition used, the shell trajectory, and exactly where your armor was penetrated. With the introduction of this new feature, you'll gain invaluable insight to help you adjust and improve your positioning and gameplay skills as you enter future battles. Crew updates are also on the way in Update 1.24.1. To make your interaction with the crew system more straightforward and a little easier to understand, all crews will be upgraded to 100% by default. In the barracks, you'll find a new button that lets you remove all tankers with less than 100% XP for their first perk, and you'll also receive compensation for their experience in crew books. Keep an eye on the portal for future updates about changes to the crew system. A brand new line of tanks has entered the garage. Join me in welcoming the Polish Tank Destroyers Tech Line. This long-awaited branch features brand new shell mechanics, including deep rifled guns, which allows for some of the fastest shell velocities in the game, and star tray shells, which are most effective at dealing loads of damage within 50 meters, which then falls off as the distance increases. Mount up one of these high-tier Polish tank destroyers when you're ready to engage in close combat and deal maximum damage. The Charge of the Lancers event is the perfect opportunity to put the new Polish tank destroyers line to the test. Progress through the missions and earn much needed supplies and some super cool rewards at the end, including an exclusive commander in the form of one of your favorite community contributors. Any guesses on who it might be? Let me know in the comments. The final season of Onslaught is here. The season of the Jade Pegasus is your last chance to make a final push in progression. And I've got good news for you. Once you reach the bronze rank, a new piece of improved equipment, innovative targeting, will become available for purchase. And this year's annual reward vehicle, the Hurricane, a specially adorned CS63 that features an epic 3D style and custom crew, will be up for grabs too. This final season of the year also marks your first chance to hone your Onslaught tactics in training rooms to better prepare you for Onslaught tournaments. I'll have more information about those later in the year. And to end the month with a bang, we'll stream the 15v15 Clan Showdown event live on Twitch on the weekend of April 27th through 28th. Twitch drops, of course, will be enabled. Don't miss your chance to earn gold, bonds, and cash. 
This month's top of the tree missions have the BZ75 and the STRV103B. April 5th through May 5th is your chance to unlock these vehicles with a little help from Uncle Wargaming. Check out the tech tree for discounts. Before I go, if your name is listed here, I want to congratulate you because you just won the t-shirt of your choice from the World of Tanks Amazon Store 2024 collection. And if your name is listed here, you just won some Watt Premium Account Days. Congratulations and thank you to everyone that entered. Okay, my pizza is getting cold, so that means this episode is officially over. Drop me a note in the comments to let me know what you're most looking forward to this April and smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday. <laughs>